The Joker pregnant controversy is really goofy. So in a recent comic released by DC, the Joker became pregnant by a magical spell from Zatanna and then he literally barfed up a muddy substance that turns into a mini clown that the Joker then claims as his son. Right off the bat, this whole story is supposed to be comedic even though it wasn't really that funny. But a lot of people thought it had to do with trans stuff for obvious reasons, but it doesn't. It's just a bad concept that somehow made it into the comics. Honestly, this whole story proves these characters are being stretched way too thin. We don't need more Joker stories. It would be really nice if we could just do some other kinds of stories with different characters. But at the same time, DC comic readers mainly just read any comic series that has their favorite characters, even if these stories are becoming ridiculously overdone. I mean, the writers are so out of ideas that the only thing they could think of was to make a story centered around the Joker becoming pregnant. Probably because the Joker has gone through every other storyline already. DC writers need to focus on different characters, but that can only happen after DC comic book readers try out something other than Batman and his rogues gallery. So try some other comics, maybe like Constantine, because...